This episode of Film Riot is brought to you by Domain.com. Today on Film Riot, Zombies. Definitely. I remain unconvinced. How so? It could just be that woken up look. He's not talking. He just needs his coffee. He's my little grumpy bear. Aren't you my little grumpy bear? Uh, he's dead, bro. He's moving. He's the undead. Right. Alive. No. He's dead. But like, still moving. You make no sense. You know what I'm talking about. I don't. He tried to bite me. Tried. Keyword. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. What? We need to go back to the source. Listen to the horse's mouth. Hear it from the horse's mouth. Horses don't talk, jackass. Suck a fart through my belly button. Eris? Uh, Are you a zombie? Uh, See? Clearly you have drugged him. What? You have roofied our friend! No. Yes. No. Yes. No. I'm 30% sure. Yeah, uh, uh, sure. I've got it. I'm sure you do. We strap a propane tank to his back, shoot it, and if it blows up, we know he's a zombie. That doesn't even... Rub yeah, okay, let's do it. Okay, go ahead. Did you say your prayers? What does that have to do with anything? Let it I ring on in infinity. Amen. Hey, Eris? Mm. Best of luck to you too, pal. <laughs> well, I guess I owe you an apology. He was a zombie. Yeah. Why is the blood so dark? It's disgusting. It tastes like death! Logo. Welcome to Film Ride, the show that takes mystery, editing, effects, and techniques. Go to somebody who's got hair! I'm your host, Ryan Conley. And since we have Halloween coming up next week, I figured it was time, maybe, that we should revisit some zombie loving. I mean, we have done zombies on the show before, but that was like makeup stuff. So when I found these digital goodies from Rampant Design, I was excited to give them a try. What is it, you ask? What is it? I'm glad you asked, and I'm going to tell you, since that's how we made aerosol zombified. Not with makeup, but digitally. So, let's put our After Effects pants on and do the VFX dance. Oh, hello. Please stop cutting to me. Okay, hi. I did this effect with Rampant Design's drag and drop assets from their Monster FX Undead Pack, which is basically 20 gigs of super high quality images for you to use however you want. Once you download, you have a ton of folders for different parts like lips, eyes, eyebrows, teeth, and so on. So, I mean, off the bat, you can really easily use this stuff to work into any picture or Photoshop, or you can get a little more advanced like we did and use it in motion, which is what I'm about to show your faces. Of course, you don't need these assets to do this. You can create these assets yourself or did something else. Do the exact same thing, pretty much. They're just the best and easiest to use that I have found. But now, here is my original shot of Eris in bubble wrap. One shot with no tracking markers on him at all, just being all zombie-like, kind of. And now that we have that, we bring it into After Effects for the After Effecting. Pop the Eris layer in, and then first thing up to do is to track this little devil. For this, I'm going to be using Mocha's tracker because it is the sh Seriously, their tracker. I love it. Love. E poop. E poop. So to do that, we're gonna make sure the layer is clicked, come up here to animation, then click track in Mocha AE. 
This will bring us into Mocha so we can get all Trackalicious. Now, Mocha is an amazing program with a multitude of possibilities to use it for. You'll see a ton of buttons and it'll look a little daunting, but we are here to track, which is stupid fast and very easy for some of the best results you'll get, period. So, click the X-spline here and draw around what you want to track, which I will do around the different areas I know that I'm going to be applying assets to. Once I have that, I will click track forward and let Mocha do its thing. If you have a complicated track, you may need to come in and do some tweaking, but with most simple shots, you're gonna get a really good track. But now with my track complete, I'll highlight one of my tracking areas, then click export tracking data. And from this drop-down menu, make sure you select After Effects Transform Data, then hit copy to clipboard and head back to After Effects. In here, you're gonna create a new null layer and then select and click paste. That's it, tracking nullness. Boom, sexual healing. Here's a out of 40's town. That's about Yeah, you've been lying. It also copies over the anchor points, which for this is screwing up what we're trying to do, so we're gonna delete those keyframes. But now we just go through copying each of these tracking bits and pasting it into new nulls that we will create for each, labeling things as we go to keep it nice and organized along the way. But now we have, we're tracked, and we're ready to start layering some zombie faces. So I'll go through here and select some eyes, mouth stuffs, face, nose, and so on. Once I have all the pieces I want, it's time to do some layer action. After we thank our sponsor. Domain.com is the place to be. Whoa, I like that. It's like a 90s rap. Dropping it hot. Yeah, domain.com. No, stop. Is the, oh, we're not doing this? No, we're not. I thought we were gonna Just like. Carry on. If you want to get a website to promote yourself on the interwebs, which you probably should if you're a filmmaker of any kind, especially if you want to just promote your stuff, do like a reel. Do like your own digital demo reel, which is with everything, and then put it on a website. And get a .NET. Get a .NET to infuse that website with instant credibility. .NETs are good. And you can get yourself a .com too. Get the .com, the .NET, no matter what somebody puts at the end there. The two most pops, populas. Poppy pop, Boom. Poppy, pop, pop, They're getting pop. to your website. Plus, .NETs are only $8.99 a year when you get them through Domain.com. We can make that crazy affordableness even more affordable by using the coupon code FILMRIOT at checkout. You get 15% off your domain name and your web hosting when you're using Domain.com. Plus, it keeps this show afloat. You know what I'm saying? Helps us. Helps you. That's all kinds of helpfulness. It's like we put I don't happiness know what I'm doing. in a bottle and then we put it in the ocean. And then you found that bottle. And you found the happiness that's in the bottle. Domain. That's domain. Happiness in a bottle. Yeah. Why not? Logo. So we have our footage tracked and ready for layers. So I will pick a good frame to work off of and start dropping things in, which off the bat looks not so good right here. But I'll mask around the parts that I want and I'm gonna feather it a bunch so it blends better. And as I've said before, since we are working with DSLR footage, it is not fully sharp. If we punch in, you'll see it's actually pretty soft. So I'm gonna add fast blur to make it match, then match the color the same way that you would with keying in a background. We've shown that a bunch of times. You just switch through the red, green, and blue channels, matching it with levels or curves, whatever you would rather use. And depending on your footage, you may wanna add some grain as well. Then you're gonna go through each piece, adding them the way you want. The eyes, the lips, any face textures, whatever it is. He's Jupiter. But still, it isn't looking 100%. So we're gonna add a black solid, mask around the areas of his face that we want to darken, like the eyes, and feather it to blend. I'm also gonna switch it to something like a soft light for the blending mode as well. We're doing this to try to darken up some of the areas of his face to make it a bit creepier and help it blend better as well. And we will do this technique in a few places, balancing the overall look of our actor until we get something that's looking pretty solid. I'm the captain now. Okay. But now I want to drop some color out of his face as well, make him look a little more dead. So I'm going to create an adjustment layer, mask around my actor's face, feather that, then add a color correction to maybe add a touch of blue, and to saturate as well, and that's looking nice. Next we're going to add an overall color grade, and you have this. Aren't you my little grumpy bear? Uh... Eris zombie face without needing any makeup at all. And again, I really dig these drag and drop assets. There's a lot of cool stuff that you can do with them, but if you aren't wanting to spend the cash, there's still a lot that you can do with these techniques just with solids. Once you have your footage tracked, you can just use black solids to black out your actor's eyes or white them out for that matter. Create some kind of weird look on their face using adjustment layers and masks, whatever you can think of really. It's a very useful effect and can be used for tons of different things. Okay.
But that is it for today. If you want to check out the assets that I used today, you can go to Rampant Design site right here. They have a lot of cool stuff there for the no low budget filmmaker. And if you do give this zombie effect a try, I would love to see it. So shoot me your video to my Twitter at twitter.com forward slash Ryan underscore Conley so I can view it with my eyes. And I'll see you guys next time when George Clooney gives me advice from beyond the grave. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Uh, <laughs> I can't do it. I can't. Oh, my.